After over a hundred days of axing, I am finally going to play. Kindergarten! Shout out to Avery the Rat for literally axing for a hundred days straight. Now, originally, I wasn't going to play Kindergarten because I already watched either Jacksepticeye or Jay from the Cub Scout. But then we all remember one thing, guys. Nina has a terrible memory. So I think I might have been able to forget enough of it for me to play it and act brand new. You know, so let's go ahead, jump into this and see if we can actually um, speed run this a little bit. It looks like you haven't played before. Would you like to go through the tutorial? Nah, I'm fine. I think we gotta start with Cindy's mission. By the way, this is Cindy. Let's go talk to her. Hey there, cutie. I'm Cindy. Wanna be my boyfriend? I'm so through with bugs. Sure. Let's not even ask any questions, guys. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. And we'll totally be the cutest couple in school. But first, you have to do something for me. Isn't our love enough? <laughs> That's cute. But no, it isn't. You're gonna have to prove it to me. Why? Why? How about because I'm the prettiest, smartest, nicest girl you'll ever meet? Does that do it for you? I'm sewed. What do I do? See that girl over there? That's Lily. She is by far the ugliest, nastiest girl you will ever meet. I want you to take this gum and stick it in her hair during morning time. Got it? Oh, yay. This is gonna be so great. She'll finally get what she deserves, just like her brother did for dumping me. Come find me for morning time after you're done. Okay, let's not ask about the brother. We no care. Okay, children. It's time to start the day. Everyone head inside for morning time. That's my teacher voice. Do you like it? Good morning, children. It's time for you to pick your buddies for morning time. Or you can be sad, pathetic, and alone. As long as you're the best you can be. Oh, I don't really do the whole morning buddy thing anymore. My brother, Billy, was normally my buddy, but he's missing. Put the gum in her hair. Did you just... Oh, you did. You put gum in my hair. That's so mean. Cindy put you up to this, didn't she? Well, I don't even care. Leave me alone. Okay. If you say so. Did you do it? Oh my gosh, she totally did. Wow, what happened? What did she say? Did she cry? I bet she cried. Yes, I'm so happy. Now you can be my morning buddy, which also makes you my boyfriend. As my boyfriend, you get the honor of playing house with me. I'll meet you over at the dollhouse. And then this guy, I remember you. You're... Nugget, right? What? Nugget! <laughs> Nugget did not wish to spend morning time with you. Nugget is very busy. What are you busy with? You're curious about the ways of Nugget? Interesting. Perhaps you could be of some use to Nugget. Perhaps? Nugget is in need of a magnifying glass. Do this for Nugget before the next bell, and you will be rewarded. No, no, no. I'm not doing Nugget's mission. No, 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 Nugget. I am Cindy's boyfriend for the day. Welcome home, hubby. I hope work wasn't too hard. Because you're going to be making dinner tonight. Yes, dear. And after that, I need you to... Have you been drinking again? What? <laughs> no, honey. I'm just tired. Oh, sure you are. You're always so tired. I'm sure you won't mind blowing into this then. Is that a breathalyzer? Where did she get that? You bet it is. And if you blow so much as a 0.01, I'm calling your sponsor. What? What is a normal amount for a breathalyzer? Wait. What is a normal amount for a breathalyzer? All states have set 0.08% blood alcohol concentration BAC as the legal limit for driving under the influence. I'll take the test. Good. Blow. 0.32? You're trashed right now. Wait, what? What did my parents give to me before I came to school today? How could you do this to me? You said you would get sober. How can you be a father when- Father? When you can't even take care of yourself. Be a father? I, well, while you're in prison, it, it's probably not your, probably not yours. I'm sorry. I, I, I guess I have my own set of problems to deal with. She's in kindergarten. <laughs> you cheated on me? I want a divorce. <laughs> I, you're right. This isn't working out. What do we do now? Go spend the night with your mother. Okay. I guess that's fair. I'll call you tomorrow. I hope we can sort this out amicably. Me too. 
Wow, that was, that was the most fun I've ever had playing house in a while. You're gonna make a splendid boyfriend. I want you to have lunch with me. Great. I'll see you then. Sure. I don't think we need anything else, right? Wait, let me let me come to you and see if you have anything that I could want. Um, I wanna buy something. Let me see what you got. I think we might need the cigarettes. You want these? Never took you for a bad apple. There's only a couple left in the pack, so it's discounted. A dollar! Deal. Deal. So I'm just going to skip the time and we're going to just head off. Okay, kids. That's the lunch bell. Let's go down to the cafeteria for our nutritious meal. I hear we're having slops today. Yummy. Slops. How exciting. So I think now she's going to want us to buy her something, right? Oh, hey, boy. <laughs> boy. Go get something to eat and come sit with me. Oh, we need something to eat. How are you doing there, Sunny? Want some nasty nutritious slap for lunch? Yes, thank you. There you go, buddy. Enjoy and don't be shy about coming back for seconds. <laughs> Did I just turn her into a sailor? Of oh, the cafeteria lady is actually a sailor confirmed. Oh, hey, boyfriend. I saved you a spot. Go get something. I have slop. Oh, good. I was just thinking about... Oh, darn it. My stupid mother packed me something that's not vegan. She knows I'm all vegan right now. Gosh, that woman is insufferable. Oh. Hey, sweetie. Would you be a darling and go get me something vegan? Something vegan? Yeah, you know, like, I don't know exactly what it means, but I know it's good. So just ask around and see if you can find something vegan. Oh, and the slop isn't vegan. I know that for a fact, even though I don't know what vegan means. Hey, how's it going? Hey, um, uh, got anything else? Well, the menu- Oh, <clears throat> Well, the menu is kind of restricted right now with the new health regulations. I have a chocolate bar, but it's pretty darn expensive. Why is it $10? It's all part of the government wanting your kids to be less fat. You poor things are wasting away before my very eyes. Never, what? Do you have nothing else? Oh, wait, I think I gotta go to Monty, right? Here's what's for sale. Salad, there we go. Looking to cut some fat from your diet. Yeah, I wouldn't want to look like bugs. <laughs> Anyway, this is a totally healthy and vegan choice. Thank you. Pleasure doing business with you. Okay, cool. What did you get me? Here's a salad, honey. Ugh, a salad? Oh. Now that I think about it, guess that would be vegan, huh? Gross. Why do I do this to myself? I don't know. You're being so good to me today. You're probably the most well-trained boy I've ever met. I should use you for something at recess. Hmm, I have an idea. What? I'm really liking the way Lily wears that gum, but maybe we could put something else in there? What do you have in mind? Jeremy was telling me how the janitor has all sorts of gross stuff in his closet. I'm thinking we could find something to give to Lily. Doesn't he keep it locked? Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Look what I have. You have the keys? Yup. A girl has her ways. I'm gonna head over and pay off the lunch lady. So you get going on down to that nasty closet. What about the hall monitor? Oh, that silly boy. He'll be in the bathroom having... Oh, wait. I don't need that? Just don't go in there and you'll be fine. Dang it. I wasted money. Lunch is almost over. So listen for the bell while you're in here. The janitor will come shortly after it rings. So get out as soon as possible. Okay. Let's do this. Awesome. You're good to go. Hurry back. Okay. Bye. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Okay. So, this is the janitor's, right? This is the door to the janitor's closet. It's lock. Unlock the door. Oh, this. It's a bucket that's carrying the blood from that thing on the table. This would be a truly vile thing to dump on someone's head. Take the bucket. Okay. I'm out. I'm out. And do I just head back to the cafe? Yeah, I just head back to the cafeteria. Oh! Did the slop give you the run? Sorry about that. Hope oh, it worked itself out. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I just talk normal from now on, guys. All the other kids are out in recess now. Go run along. Okay, now we gotta go talk to Cindy to see what other things she wants us to do. Well, what did you get? This bucket filled with blood. Oh my gosh. It's perfect. That is so disgusting. Whose blood is it? Oh, never mind. I don't want to know. Me neither. You're the best. Climb up there and I call her over. I'm going to get in position. 
Hey, Lily, come over here. I want to show you something. Why can't you just leave me alone, Cindy? I'm so sick of you harassing me. I'm not gonna harass you. We are just being friends. Come over here. Fine, what is it? Here we go, guys. The moment of truth. But we are the worst person in the world. Drop it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> what did you just? Oh, you, you're an awful boyfriend. Set me up again. I'm so done with this. You've made me so miserable for so long. Aw, come on. I think it's an improvement. Red's your color. You're just so mean. I can't take it anymore. Oh, I forgot about this! Goodbye, girl world. She's fine. Wow, that hole is deep. Do you think she died? <laughs> Never mind. I don't care. You should come down from there. Cindy! actually the worst that was so great you made me so happy today i want you to take this flower it's pretty like me this way you'll always have a little piece of me with you take the flower now you have the best thing ever for show and tell gosh i'm so great yeah you sure are oh dear has anybody seen lily i don't see her anywhere nugget saw there the girl went nugget knows Shut up, Nugget. You didn't see anything. <laughs> Nugget, I swear to whatever gosh you messed up family believes in. If Lily fell down that hole you dug, I'm pushing you in after her. Nugget will not give teachers the satisfaction. Teacher will never take Nugget alive. Oh my gosh, and then Nugget goes into. He's fine. Oh, that hole is deep. I can't even see the bottom. We're gonna have to get the janitor out here with the ladder to get them out. Oh, Mr. Janitor! I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> what seems to be the problem is... What? I have two of my students stuck at the bottom of this hole. You want me to put the rest of them in the hole? No! I want you to get the ones that are in the hole out the hole. Can you do that? Oh, well, that's less fun. But I guess I could do that. It might take a while, though. Might be best if you brought the ones that aren't in the hole back inside so I don't get, <laughs> so I don't get confused. Very well. Okay, children. We're going to cut recess a little short today. Let's head inside for show and tell. Awesome. Let's do it. Hope everyone had a good recess. Let's all get ready for show and tell. Why don't you go first? What did you bring? Oh, can I show off the sickies? Drugs in school? How horrible. Give those to me right now. Now I don't have to pick up some after. <laughs> She's so corrupted. Oh, I'm also sending you to the... Oh, no! We have some tolerance policy on violence, but a zero tolerance policy on drugs. I can put up with a lot of things in this school. Missing children, violence, a janitor with a questionable past. That's a lot to put up with. But the one thing I would not stand for in my school is drugs! But, but... I know how to handle delinquents like... No! What? No! I'm not supposed to be invincible. I'm supposed to know what to do. Oh my gosh. Counseling? <laughs> Dang! <gasps> Drugs are bad. Don't show them to anyone. I mean, they did say that. Can we show this? The breathalyzer? Oh my, why on earth would you have something like that? Your parents need to be more responsible. You shouldn't have to use one of these until you're at least 16. Who's next? Hopefully someone who doesn't need their BAC checked on the regular. Oh, so that's fine? Well, children, that was a fun little show and tell. Oh, there's the bell. I hope you all have a fun day today. I'll see you all tomorrow. Awesome. How dare you? What did I do? Really? You have the gall to stand there as if you have no idea what you did wrong back there? I honestly have no idea. The flower! My special flower! The one I gave you for being the best boyfriend I've ever had! You didn't show it! During show and tell, if it means that little to you, then I'm just going to take it back. We're through- WHAT?! WHAT?! Wait, let me do that again. Let me do that again. Okay, so this is what happens when you give the flower and sh show the flower and show and tell. A flower? That's pretty boring. What's there to even tell about that? It is not boring. I gave him that because he's been a good boyfriend all day. We've been over this, Cindy. You can't have your new boyfriend showing flowers. Now I gotta kick his butt. 
Don't you dare, Bugs. No one's allowed to kick my boyfriend's butt except for me. We'll see about that. Oh, no, she does not care. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, kid. Can't have Cindy getting a new boyfriend. You'll thank me for this later. Oh, my gosh. Miss Applegate, stop him. I would, but dang if I don't like a good kitty fight. The kitty fight is having blood. Yeah, you don't show the flower if you don't want to get beat up. Okay, so what I actually got to do, guys. We need to get rid of bugs in the beginning. Should I bring extra money? Yeah. Dang, that's a lot of money. Mm, I smell money. Yeah, someone's definitely carrying a bunch of money around here. <laughs> hey, kid, you carrying any cash? No. Don't lie to me. You know, I know when I smell money. Give me half or else. No. Look, kid, I don't have time to argue with you. Give it to me or you're dead. Well, I think he actually, yeah, I think he, yeah, I think I'm actually dead if I don't, yeah. Good boy. Now don't go tell the teacher about this or you might turn up missing like that Billy kid. Right. Teacher! Bug stole my money. He did? Interesting. I'll make you a deal. Bug's the real troublemaker. He's violent and a danger to others. If you go over there and challenge him, I'll make it worth your while. What if he hurts me? I'll build character. <laughs> What's in it for me? I'll give you a gold star. We all love gold stars, don't we? Um, okay, just because I need to send him to the principal's office. Oh, how I love a good kitty fight. Just go over there and push him a little bit. When he attacks back, just yell for me. I'll put a stop to it. This time she will. She let me die the last time because she loves good kitty fights. What do you want, dweeb? I'm not giving you your money back. Get out of here before I squish you. Squishing me won't make your dad come back. Oh! My dad will come back. He just went to the store to get some cigarettes and all. You also got to try to get some milk, I heard. Get out of here, or I'll beat you so hard, it'll make him proud. He'll never be proud of you. Dang! Yes, he will. If you don't leave right now, I'll kill you. Dying wouldn't be so bad. Fine, you, Axford. This is for my dad. Go for the danger. Miss Applegates. Bugs, how dare you attack another student unprovoked again? That's the last straw. I'm sending you to the principal's office so he can finally expel you. No, please, don't. He started it. He's a liar. He said my dad was never coming back. Well, he's... <laughs> well, he's right. And after this little incident, neither are you. Now go to the principal's office, or I'll have the janitor carry you there. But, but, go! Stupid rat. We could have been friends if you didn't rat me out. That seems important. But not for now. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. I'm finally rid of that little degenerate. Here's our golden star as promised. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Now we got me thinking though. Jerome thinks he's so high in my- No, 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 no. I'm not doing no thanks. I'm not doing your thing. I'm out of- I got a different mission, okay? Well, that's unexpected. But I can respect that. Enjoy the rest of your day. Will do. Okay, so now we're back at the show and tell. So now we can safely show- our flower from our beloved girlfriend for the day guys a flower that's boring it's not boring i gave him that because he's been a good boyfriend all day trust me it's boring we're just gonna skip you and move on to the next someone more interesting okay who's next it's not gonna be hard to beat that so don't be shy <laughs> well children that was fun little show and tell Oh, there's the bell. I hope you all had a fun day today. I'll see you all tomorrow. That was so sweet of you to show the flower to everyone. You really are the best boyfriend I've ever had. You can keep it forever and always. Joy. I'll be seeing you tomorrow, boyfriend. See you then. Woo! We got the flower. We got the flower. Let's go ahead and look at the hints a lot better this time. So I'm guessing we should probably go in order because I think this kind of goes like in an operation of who's the easiest to hardest. So let's see, you need to buy three items from Monty before morning time. And this says you need to have the cigarettes by the time you go to get the laser pointer from the bathroom. So let's go ahead, dig into our piggy bank. 
Thank you, thank you, and let's go to school! Hey, kid, you carrying any cash? Yes. Excellent. Give me it! Or I'll split your soul. Split your soul is crazy! <laughs> so, I need three items. So, let's see what I can buy. I think what I need, I need the screwdriver, cigarette, and yo-yo. So, I'm gonna go ahead and buy those. Okay, cool. Hey, Jerome, you wanna be Marty, buddy? Dude. You know you're not cool. Oh, sorry. He's supposed to be like a really deep voice for no reason as a child. Dude, you know you're not cool enough to talk to me, let alone be my morning buddy. Besides, Monty's gonna hook me up with a sweet yo-yo. You mean this yo-yo? Oh, come on. He told me he was gonna save that for me. You can have it if you'll be my morning buddy. Oh. You got a deal. And since we're gonna be friends, I think you should do something to help me out, you know? as a friend. Already using me, that's crazy. You know that creepy old janitor? He stole my laser pointer this morning. Said it was too bright and shiny for his old eyes. I need your help to get it back. What do I do? When you're ready, I'll give you a hall pass. You can use it to get by the hall monitor. Once you're past him, head to the janitor's closet. My laser should be in there somewhere. Uh, yeah, I can do that, I gotcha. Awesome. There should be a box in there somewhere. Just grab it and go. Don't linger there in too long. He checks back frequently. Got it. Just let me know when you're ready. I'll give you the pass. I won't be able to distract the teacher for long, so head straight for the door. Don't talk to anyone on your way out. I'm ready. Go distract her. Let's go. We're doing Jerome's mission. Yeah, what you want, you little butt nugget? Not so fast, little dude. I'm gonna need to see some of that hall pass before I let you go. Why am I always just giving them the most random accents? I gotta stop that. Here's my pass. A principal pass? Well, good golly goodness. Go to a man. Sweet. Thank you. Now I gotta go to the janitors. I come over here, get the stolen stuff. It looks like this screw is loose. Unloosen it. Noise. Give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that, give me the stolen stuff. There's a bunch of junk in here along with drone's laser pointer. Nice, uh, well, did you get it? What? Okay, kids, we all heard the lunch bell. Now go down to the cafeteria for a nutritious meal. I hear we're having slop today. How exciting! <laughs> slop is how I got to my voluptuous brain. We'll talk at lunch. Go to lunch. Awesome. Hey, kid, over here. Well. Did you get it? I got it! Dude, that's awesome. I just hope the janitor doesn't notice. He could be pretty territorial. Which one of you dead little children went into my closet? Ooh, ooh. Oh geez, sounds like he's noticed. You better hurry up and hide that thing before he gets here. If he carries you with him, you're a dead man. Where'd I hide it? Um, the garbage can. Quick, throw it out there. Well? Anyone want to step forward? No? Well, what a surprise. What about you, little junior principal? I took your laser thing this morning. I'm sure you want it back. Search me, man. I don't have it. So, go away. <laughs> or I'll tell my dad you peed in the water fountain again. Ugh, you win this round, kid. What about you? You been in my closet? Turn off your pockets. Yeah, turn out those pockets. Hmm, nothing. I still got my eye on you. Oh, just leave the poor thing alone. You're always looking for a reason to impale a child on that mop of yours. This school is so unfunctional, guys. So what if I am? Ain't nothing wrong with impaling a child. Just go sell your mystery meat. <laughs> the biscuit balls. Fine, but mark my words, someone will pay for going into my closet. Actually, before we get started, that garbage can still need emptying. Go take care of it. Grumble, grumble. Stupid lunch lady, making me do my stupid job. <laughs> I, gave a, I, gave a, I gave him an accent too. What the heck am I doing? Well, that was fast. There's no way you took it all the way to the dumpster. Would you relax, woman? I dropped it off in the bathroom. I'll get it after the bath bell ring. Sheesh. Old broad is just mad the kids let, like my food better than hers. Okay. Well, that didn't go as quite as planned. At least you're not dead. That's a relief. What now? I hate to ask this of you, but you need to go get it. The janitor said that it's in the bathroom. What's in it for me? I know I'm asking a lot from you, but just work with me on this. 
I'll make it worth your while. Fine! I'll go pay off the lunch lady. I like how all these kids are just paying off the lunch lady. The janitor would be taking that garbage out shortly after the bell rings. Okay. She said she'll let you out. Go get it. Fine! Oh, and there goes Lily. Bye, Lily! Okay, cool. Okay, so let's go to the janitor's office! Ooh. Huh? You? You're not supposed to be in here. I got- I gotta take you to the principal's office. That is, unless- unless what? Well, I'm out of cigarettes. If you had some, I'll be willing to let you off. Heck yeah! Thanks so much, little dude! Go get what you gotta do. Go do what you gotta do. See you around, little man. Uh, they just go into a stall. Looks like I'm digging through this after all. Okay, get a stupid laser pointer. Awesome. Now we can go back to Jerome. And, uh, end this one. Oh, did the slob get to you, Run. Sorry about that. Hope it works itself out. All the other kids are out at Reese's now. Go run along. Okay. And... Hey, kid. Over here. Oh, Monty. Jerome briefed me in on our, your little mission. Did you manage to get the laser from the bathroom? Yep. Good. I don't know if you noticed, but the janitor is watching Jerome a little too closely. He looks like he's about to kill him. We gotta do something about this. What do you mean? That old man has been harassing kids for decades. I think it's time we finally got even with him. How do we do that? I'm gonna take the laser as co co collateral for my services? Dang, that laser put me through so much. He'll get it back when he pays me. Okay, now what? Jerome gave me this. It's one of his dad's little bugs. Little thing tends to pop off if you don't like what they hear. Don't worry, I deactivated it. What do I do with it? You just worry up you just worry about putting it behind the janitor without him seeing you. I'll handle the rest. Come see me when you're done. Okay. What is this like mission impossible? Does it matter? I, I guess it's fine. Should I place the device here? Yes. Awesome. What you think? Did you place it? Yep. Excellent. This is gonna be good. <laughs> now, Jerome! Get back here! I ain't done questioning you yet! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! I didn't think they actually exploded him! I thought they knocked him out! I don't know- Oh my gosh. Jeez, dude. I told you. Distract him, not blow him up. Eh. Potato, potato, same thing. He had it coming. The janitor just exploded. Yes, he did. The irony here is that there's no one to clean it up. The parts. <laughs> That's all she cares about. Can we just go inside now? Yes, I think that would be for the best. <laughs> the janitor is just dead. Hope everyone had a good recess. Let's all get ready for show and tell. Why don't you go first? What did you bring? Um. Can I show the screwdriver? She's gonna get mad. Or can I show the pass? I feel like that's even worse. Let me show the pass. Hey, that's one of the principal's hall passes. He said one was missing this morning. I can't believe you stole. So it was you who sold the hall pass. Hmm, I thought it was my disappointment of a son who did it. Jerome's not that bad. Why would I even stick up for him? I suppose not, but you are. Am I really? Yes, and I would have no tolerated student who steals from me. Consider yourself expelled. That seems harsh. That's even harsher. Okay, what about the screwdriver? Please tell me I can at least show the screwdriver. Please! Oh, a screwdriver? That's my favorite drink. The janitor was mentioning how he wishes he hasn't sold his to Monty. Apparently, there's a loose shelf in the closet or something. I like how they tell me this now after I already did the mission. Okay, who's next? Well, children, that was a fun little show and tell. Oh, there's the bell. I hope you had a fun day today. I'll see you all tomorrow. Awesome. Awesome, guys. We did it. We have successfully... I think successfully, right? Well, kid, I'm impressed. You put up with this whole crazy day just because I told you it's be worth it. It better be. It is, trust me. It's just a shame it requires Monty taking the laser until I pay him back. Either way, you earn this. What is it? It's a mode for a key to my dad's office. You get this made, and you can go there anytime. You couldn't just give me a key? <laughs> what about the actual key? Like, what? My dad is pretty secretive about his office. I'm pretty sure he has the only key to it. So, be grateful. You even have the chance to make a key for it. How can I make get this made? Monty can hook you up. Just bring it to him. Monty can do everything, I've noticed. 
Just bring it to him at the beginning of the day and he'll pay it out for you or figure it out for you. Okay. This is where we part ways, man. You're pretty cool. I'll see you around. Bye. We got another item. We got another item. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this video here. Leave a comment. Leave a like if you like me to finish it off and also do kindergarten too. Anyways, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Nina. Out. Oh.